The death toll in Europe continues to climb with 260 confirmed dead as the region deals with heavy snow and bitterly low temperatures. As well as transport disruptions, many schools have had to close their doors. Daniel Taff has more. Europe is battling against the cold. And the fight is long as another nine fell victim to hypothermia in Poland on Monday. Waters in several areas of the country have frozen over, and even icebreakers are remaining in ports. To prevent more fatalities, police there are on high alert. People often go onto the ice to take pictures. They don't see that the ice is thin and that they can fall into the water at any time. Germany is also ice laden, but it's almost business as usual on the River Elbe as cargo ships try to get in and out of Hamburg port. But traffic on the river en route from Hamburg to Madgeburg remains blocked. Meanwhile, some areas are still only reachable by plane, with ferry services down. The focus of operations in Serbia and Bosnia is to help the thousands trapped in the remote mountain villages. The Serbian government has declared a state of emergency as up to 70,000 people have been cut off by the heavy snow. The decision to declare an emergency situation is primarily to protect citizens. We made a decision that children do not go to school for a week, primarily because of their health and to save energy. Romania has also been hit by the extreme weather. Conditions worsened rapidly in the eastern part of the country on Sunday as the army had to be called in to help out. The weather is expected to continue until at least the weekend. But for Europe's children, it's more about snow fights than fighting the snow, as schools in several countries have had to close. Daniel Taft, CCTV.